Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service now hacks. In this video, uh, I will show you the step by step process of enabling your Gmail account into your personal dev instance uh, PDA basically. Uh, because in the recent days, we know that you know PDA have removed uh, email accounts option from PDA, and due to this, we are unable to use the you know actual emails, inbound actions, our script via you know how that uh, effectively you know working in the inbound actions, right? Let's get started. Uh, how we can do that? The first step is go to your email accounts under system mailbox, email accounts and create a new email account so i'll give the name and you use your gmail id here the gmail id which you can use your own gmail id or you can create particular to this you know pdi use only you can create a new gmail id and you can use that add a password and connection security should be ssl or ssl ssl or tls port will be 995 and since this is a pop3 i am enabling a receiving email uh, the server would be pop.gmail.com and let's save this so once this is saved if you just click on the test connection uh, this will not be enabled you know by default it will show you the auth error username or password is not accepted this is because in the recent days google have you know uh, made a connect, made a decision that if we are connecting our gmails or google account to third party apps uh, in this case which is service now so they will not enable the access only with a username or password it has to be a two steps you know verification is required at gmail account then only that is possible we'll see how that works so let's open the gmail So this is my Gmail. We'll go to manage Google account. Click on this. Go to security. Here, here you see we have a two-step verification is up. This must be enabled. Two-step verification. Get started with this process. So by default, it will take a number text message I have selected. Enter the code, whichever you receive for your number. And turn on. See, as soon as you validate it, two step will be turned on. So now you see the two step verification is enabled now. So once this is activated, you have to go to two step verification under security again, go there fully come down. We have a app password where you can able to see this, right? You click on the app password, select app. You can also you you give it for mail and you know, give you can also give it for custom. I'm selecting here for service now since I'm using this fast for service now PDI, right? Generate. Once this is done, you will get a you know unique password which is generated. Just copy the entire you know password. Come here to service now. Just paste this and save this. Once this is done, just click on test connection. See now the connection is successful. It means the Gmail you know is successful from the service now one more thing the password which is generated from this app password copy the entire thing with space with space you have to copy okay and i'll close this the next step is see i can able to see two step verification is done phone number is added and other emails right now the next step is we'll make this active and save it Now email Gmail ID pop three is added. Now what is the next step to retrieve the emails whichever is coming to service now Gmail ID from Gmail to service now we have to retrieve it for that we have to enable one more setting in the Gmail option go to settings on top 
right click here. See all the settings. See like this, the settings are enabled. Go to forwarding and pop here. So you have to enable the pop. So enable the pop mail that arrives from now on if you enable this one this will enable post this enablement whatever the new email comes into service now this gmail id will get you know retrieved to email account if you enable all including the current emails it will be you know uh, pulled uh, to service now i would not recommend this one because you can enable this and send a start email you know right and the next option which you need to take care of this one keep a gmail copy in the inbox mark gmail copy as a read so you can choose whatever you want i would suggest you can also keep a you know a gmail copy in the email box right then save this so now the configuration is done at a Gmail end. So we'll go back to email accounts. Go to your email properties. So email receiving is enabled. Enable this email receiving option. Just save this. Right. So this is saved. Suppose by if uh, if in case if you are not able to see the email properties in your PDI, the first step you have to go to is developer.servicenow.com. Open your uh, developer.com, which is stacked to this PDI, the particular PDI which you are in, right? So see now my instance stack to developer, uh, you know, uh, portal has opened. Go to your profile here you will have to you know open uh, click on this manage email property and get that enable or disable right you have to get this enabled once this is enabled then only this email property will show up here so now i have added the property email receiving has been enabled and you can also click on email diagnostic page there you see service now hacks gmail id is added and also connection is successful right so from now onwards, and this is a you know pop three since it is a retrieve method. The first the email will go to service now Gmail ID, the Gmail ID which I have configured. From there, retrieve will happen to email accounts, and you know this will forward the all the email which are come to this one to email account which has been enabled here. Correct. So we'll just test that now. We'll go to CC mail. We'll take created. So now created on today is completely empty. We'll see. I just sent this. The email has come here. So we'll wait for this job to run. If you want to see, you know, when this uh, job will run, email reader. This is an email reader job. You can go here. And the next run is on in another one minute. Let's wait for one minute now from one minute. Okay. So now you see the email reader job has run successfully. We'll go to email. See the email has already arrived. The one which I have given right from the received one. This is already there. If you open this email, the one also I have sent an email to my service now email ID. This is the email, right? See the email has been received to service now and we have an inbound action and accordingly incident is also created, right? I'll send one more email and I'll show you. I'll send this email from the same email ID. I have sent one more email ID. So let's wait for that schedule to be run again. See now the schedule job has been run and if you reload the emails, see, sorry, you got one more email which has been received from the service now email ID. This is a test to do, right? If you also see that, we will get to know the from address. Who had sent this? You know, uh, the mail service now has received this, the mail body, everything, and the entire inbound action will run. Like this way, you can create a new Gmail account or use the existing Gmail account and just connect that Gmail account to your uh, PDI. So make a use of it and do all your testing with the emails, whatever it is required, right? So that's it for this video. So you save this video for uh, you know referring purpose. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and support. Thank you all.